In this video, we will use the CPU based solver to find the flow properties around the car. And this is the solution we get after doing the refine uh, stages of the simulation. Uh, on screen we can see a convolution plot and a uh, body contour plot of the velocity around the F1 for schools car. Now let's head over to the refine tab here. So refine um, essentially uses the CPU solver to get a fluid solution. The CPU solver takes a little bit longer to solve, um, however it is a lot more accurate. So what we're going to do is go to global, uh, select curvature, and then we want to use some predefined settings. So you want to iteratively go through and just find um, which settings work best for you. But here I've set the minimum size to be um, 0.5 of a millimeter and I've left the rest of these to be default. You can think of curvature as a mesh sizing based on the radius of curvature of the geometry. So for larger radiuses, you won't see the effect of curvature, but when your radiuses get really small, the curvature will fit smaller elements to those smaller radiuses. The minimum curvature size is, is essentially the minimum element size of your model. So you can think about it as this is the smallest size that you will resolve in your model. If you want to resolve those really small features, you're going to have to have a lower curvature size. But if you're happy, but if you're happy to gloss over some of those small features, you can have a larger curvature size. I found that on these kind of models, the curvature size of around 0.5 mil usually works pretty well. But you could double this value or half this value to get different to get a different mesh resolution. So now, if we hit the uh, solve button. It'll begin solving using the GPU. And if we press the show mesh button, once the mesh has been generated, it'll show the mesh in the window. Cool, now we can see that the mesh has been generated here. If you look in, you can see that the regions of high curvature have really small elements fitted to it. These thin elements here are known as inflation elements. These are to model the boundary layer around a structure. Okay, now that our uh, refined solution has converged, uh, if we look to the plot of uh, drag, we can see that um, it's actually decreased over what the GPU solver predicted. So our drag has actually increased because um, it's gone further negative. And the downforce itself has actually decreased. And here we can do exactly the same flow visualization uh, that we did using the uh, explore functionality. On screen we can still see the streamlines as we did before. Uh, this time they're static because we solved uh, using the steady equations. Now let's quickly view a convolution plot. A convolution plot is essentially a 2D contour um, with some streamlines ingrained into the color scheme. Um, so we can see which direction the flow is moving uh, as it goes through. So right now we're plotting the velocity of the convolution plot. Um, we can also plot the vectors. So if we go up here to vectors, we can plot the arrows. And we can also do contours. So if we go contours, and this time go all faces. Now that we're in contour mode, we want to go to uh, here and go highest, instead of highest value, go to outer. And this will just plot the uh, surface coloring on the outside of the contour. So now if we go cut plane, uh, we can see that the domain is split uh, by this cut plane here. So we can slide this plane uh, to the side and we could view the, the, uh, the velocity contour update live as we move the plane. We can also rotate the plane around. So we rotate here and we go 90 degree. We can also do a sweep running axially along the car as well. 
this sort of sweep gives us information on uh, velocity separation and we can see where the, the areas are blue is where we have a high degree of airflow separation from the car and these tend to result in high uh, regions of higher drag. We can also do the same thing with total pressure. Total pressure is essentially synonymous with energy loss. So if we sweep the plane, we can see where we're losing the most energy throughout the system. And as we can see as we sweep around, the wake is essentially a region of very low uh, fluid energy which causes drag. We can also see the regions where the total pressure is low uh, behind and in front of the wheels. And we can also view the uh, composite plot again. So if we go view all bodies, let's change that. We can keep it at total pressure. So if we move this down, uh, turn off cut plane. Here we can draw the uh, the volume of total pressure, and we can also do the same with velocity and static pressure as we did in uh, the explore mode. So it's worth noting that the CPU solver is is much slower than the GPU solver. Uh, this model took around 10 times longer to solve on the CPU, but the CPU solver is much, much more accurate than the GPU solver. So if you're doing values, uh, so if you want to find specific values, uh, i.e. drag or downforce, uh, you'd use this solver to get the values. All right, thank you for watching.